best. It's the best game in the world. I mean, there's so many things that go into it. There's no one person that can play soccer. Like you can be overweight, but if you're smarter and there's a role for you on the field, if you can, you can carve out your role, you can be terribly technically, but you're, no one will ever run past you or you're gonna work everyone into the ground. You can score one goal a game, but you're the best defensive team in the league. There's beauty in that. There's completely different ways to play this game. There's completely different ways to win. There's beauty in all of it. It all started here in Oakville, probably just in, uh, in the backyard here. I have an older brother. He, once he started playing soccer, I was doing everything that he was doing. And then from there, joined uh, Oakville Soccer Club and then started playing rep. I mean, I was always pretty pretty quiet kid. I was always very shy, unless it was, it was playing soccer. It was just something I loved to do, so just go on the field and kind of do my thing. I mean, I was, so I was playing at Oakville and then that kind of fizzled out for, for whatever reason. And then uh, my dad actually took me some, a little camp they were hosting, a little summer camp. He's like, all right, we're going here. This is where you're gonna be for a week. Meet Bobby, whatever. It was very informal, didn't really know anything about it and just went and, and trained. And there was a bunch of uh, international coaches there. And that was kind of my first experience with, uh, with Bobby. It was awesome. I mean, it was, it was training that I've never really experienced within, within Canada at the time. It was very technical, very professional, and it was just, uh, it was overall a very good experience. He's always been a mentor to me. Bobby, uh, I look up to him. He's, something, he's someone I can talk to about soccer at uh, any point in, in my career. He's always been someone who's going to tell it very truthfully, whether uh, I'm going to like the answer or not. He's going to tell it how it is. So he's, he's someone I, I believe in. And, I've always looked to at, uh, at tough times. Once I heard Bobby was the coach, it was like, okay, maybe, maybe this is gonna be, be a thing for me. And then the more it went on, it was the more, I just wanna be a part of this. Because to me, there's, there's so much more upside in, in being a part of this from the ground floor, building this into something that's gonna be big time. Because I actually do believe this is gonna be very successful in, in the years to come. And it just makes more sense, like why play in the States when we can just start building this thing here in, in Canada. I want to be a part of this, not necessarily for me. I want to be a part of it for the kids who are 10 years old, the kids who are just starting to play soccer now. So it's they, their entire lives, they're looking at a professional environment. They can see it with their own eyes. They're either going to the games, they're a part of the academies, whatever it may be. But they see it and they see this as a, an actual goal they can do, something that they could actually make a life out of, something they can actually believe in. My name is Kyle Becker and I was forged here. <laughs>